I recently just learned that the Leawa 100mm uh, macro, a 2.8 macro, has a tripod collar. Uh, and I just got one and I'm going to talk a little bit about it. So a couple of videos back, I talked about and compared several different macro lenses that we utilize, um, including the Laowa 100mm uh, 2.8 1-2x. Uh, I do like this lens a lot. Um, it, like all of them, has a couple little shortcomings. By the way, one of them I mentioned in the previous video that drives me nuts is the lack of an indicator where you would connect it to the... Um, uh, body of your camera on the outside. It's only on the, the inside, a little red dot on the inside here. And I'm used to being able to look on Canon lenses above here and know where to connect it. So I just took a little white paint pen, put a little white dot in there, uh, and uh, solved the problem uh, and easy fix. Another thing that I mentioned about this lens though was that it did not come with a, and did not have a tripod collar. Um, Leal actually commented uh, that there is uh, one available, and I was like, whoa, I had no idea. Uh, and so uh, I ordered it, uh, got it uh, fairly quickly, um, and thought I would talk about it, thought I would talk a little bit about it um, today. We, First, almost, we almost didn't order it because we, because it didn't have very good reviews. In fairness, yeah, this it does not have good reviews, uh, and I think those reviews are quite fair, uh, to be honest. Uh, it is only, I think it was 20 or $25, very inexpensive. When you're holding it in your hand, you can tell that it is inexpensive. It's just plastic. It is not um, super well built. But my main issue with it, um, and the reason that I made the assumption that that, there, that a tripod collar was not available for this lens is there is nowhere to connect this securely to the lens. It is simply uh, mounted via friction uh, to the lens. So you unscrew it. Uh, you would wrap it around uh, and then just screw it again. It can really put it anywhere on uh, the lens. Um, one reviewer I noted um, mentioned that they put it basically where the uh, aperture uh, ring is. That's because there's just a, a basically about the same width probably as what the tripod collar. But of course that obstructs it, uh, the aperture ring when you do that. Um, so I mount, mount it right behind uh, the, the last bit of, of text on here uh, with showing the apertures. Um, it does fit secure, um, so if you're basically a one and done kind of situation where you're mounting it on a copy stand or on a tripod and you're not going to mess with it thereafter, then I think it would satisfy uh, your needs uh, and, and be fine as a tripod collar. Um, if you, on the other hand, plan on un, you know loosening it and then turning the uh, the the lens while mounted to the camera, I think it's much less ideal. First of all, again, because it's simply friction and it's not um, mounted in a single spot, you can see just that little movement that I just did, it moved up. This thing, you know, it can move this entire distance, including off of the lens. Yikes. So um, it is just, you know, I think it either an afterthought or just an inexpensive way to come up with a tripod collar for this lens. But again, unless you're going to mount it and leave it, um, I really can't uh, recommend it. Uh, but I am thankful to Laowa for letting us know that one did exist because, again, I, I just uh, incorrectly made the assumption that one didn't. It could also be something that you use for stabilizing in the field because we often use that, that foot as to hold on to in the field. So... Yeah, what Kendra's talking about is sometimes, like with the MPE 65 in particular, I will leave it on the lens but have it off to the side. I'm not 
uh, it's not mounted on anything, but it just provides something nice uh, to be able to grab a hold of to provide uh, you know a more steady grip. Uh, and to be able to, to steady the lens. So yeah, sure, you could use it in that way as well. Okay, so that's our review of the tripod collar for the, the Lawa 100mm um, macro 2X lens. And so if this video, if you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up and you could subscribe to us. That would be wonderful. And you'll get notified when we make more videos like this. Thanks. Bye. Bye.